What's up, Barking family? Welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys, I have a Dollar Tree haul. As always, before we begin the Dollar Tree hauls, I'd like to share with you guys my graphic t-shirt, and I really, 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 really like this one. This is a Garfield t-shirt. I don't have uh, any Garfield t-shirts, so I got this at five below, five bucks. I love it so much. I told you guys when I buy shirts from Five Below. If it is the men's cut, which this is a men's cut, I go small. But if it's the woman's cut, I always go up a size because the woman's cut is always like so fitted and it cuts off weird like on the sleeves. So I recommend going up a size. In other news, I also changed the background. I am starting to decorate my background um, for fall. And I just uploaded a tutorial for that ladder if you guys are interested. I love this ladder. I want to make another one and put it like kind of going that way. You can make this ladder for as little as $3. Side note, you might start hearing things running in the background. I'm not positive. I tried to soundproof the door as much as I could. I'm taking care of my parents' puppy. His name is Izzy and Izzy and Pepper love to play with each other. But I've been taking care of Izzy and they are like crazy those two together this is just terrible they're both fighting over this pillow oh no izzy no izzy drop it he just grabbed the <laughs> the cord thing to my camera this is izzy right here oh look he has a little bit of penny in him he's a cockapoo just like penny but this time it's a boy it's my parents first boy dog and he was barking because is or not izzy pepper tends to be a bully sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, let's begin the Dollar Tree haul. As always, I like to start off my hauls with my favorite item that I found this week at Dollar Tree, and that was these candle pillars. I love when Dollar Tree gets like the real candle pillars in. So these are kind of similar to what they carried last year, but slightly different in the sense that it goes in a little bit to hold a candle like more properly. Now this is the only thing about them. I bought them and then I placed them on a flat surface and they are a little wonky. I'm going to have to figure it out so that it's not like, but what I mean by wonky, it's not totally level. So there's two of them um, that you can buy two different sets of colors, white and then black. Obviously you could spray paint them, you could paint them a different color, but I was so excited to see these because I used these for so many DIYs last year and I cannot wait to use them again. I will also say this when it comes to these things, you got to be gentle with them because they are like that ceramic material. They tend to um, break easily if you're not careful with them. Next up, how freaking pretty are these things? I found these signs that say dreamy and they're like a decent size. You can see like compared to my head. Normally, let me show you something. Like normally something made of like this wood material is like this big from Dollar Tree. Look at the size on this. So basically each one says dreaming but each color is different on them. It looks like wood on one side and then the other side it's like where the color is and it splits. There's also these eyelashes that are in the back. How cute. So this one is pink then I got a blue one and then I got a purple one. Like I said really big sizes. If you have um, a room that is like decorated with makeup or it's just very girly i feel like this will look really nice near it or like near a vanity i really hope dollar tree gets more items in like this with like this wood appearance this color but they say like things like that one bless our home that one's from dollar tree right there i don't know if you can see it but like where it would have a little wreath and says bless our home but instead of being that white canvas background it would be the wood canvas Oh, not wood canvas, but wood. I think it'd be really nice. Okay, I held some gold wire baskets in just two different sizes. This time around, I was able to find a bigger basket. So this is like a paper basket. So it's much wider, much longer than the other two were. The other one was like a circular shape and then a square shape. But look at that for a buck. Like these things don't run a dollar. Trust me, I buy things like this quite often and they don't cost me a buck. And so if you're really into like farmhouse decor, which I am, you can get like a steel color um, spray paint and spray these that color and that's what I did with some of those baskets. I spray painted them with the hammered, um, it's like Rust-Oleum hammered spray paint and I sprayed it with that and then I just stuck that in the closet to organize the different type of linens that I have. But woo, these are so cute. I don't know how they're gonna work but I found some Buffalo Check slippers. They're woman slippers. It says it fit sizes five through nine. I'm a seven and a half. I stuck my foot inside of this. It was fine. I feel like the fuzz might fall out easily because that's how it is with the um, socks that Dollar Tree carries but how cute are they and then I purchased one of the scarves so they're starting to bring in these scarves again and the gloves and the beanies um, for winter and you know when they get the buffalo check 
scarf. I like to get them because I use them for DIYs and sometimes I wear them. It, it, I wear the like affinity one. So I got a bunch of like wood cut out things this week. The first of which are Christmas ones. So I got one that says let it snow, merry and bright. And my favorite one which is a little truck. I would say little red truck but you don't paint it. You, or it's not painted. You have to paint it yourself. So there's a Christmas tree in the back of it. I have seen people on Instagram taking the truck and putting like pumpkins in the back. So yes. I bought these. Then I got these little word cutouts. I have three different ones on stands. One says love, one says home, and one says peace. I can see these flying off the shelf and people using them for a bunch of DIYs. Like for sure these would be really easy to incorporate into things. And then I got one, another one that says home, except this time around there's not a stand. It just says home and it's bigger, the wording than the other stuff. Really, really cool things right now at Dollar Tree. Where I found the wood items is in the new crafting aisle that they're getting to the bigger stores. So with that, I also found rub on transfers, new ones that I like a lot. So the first one I have has a bunch of words on it and this would make it so easy when you're doing DIYs that need these type of words. Memories, forever, trust, home, friend, celebrate, thankful, wish, adventure, welcome, explore. There is a bunch of words on this. It doesn't say how many. And then I got these letters that I really do like. I like the font of them. It's just, you know, the alphabet, but with a really, really nice font. I picked up two of these decor pieces. One is a flamingo, one is a mermaid. It says, be a flamingo and a flock of pigeons and make your own magic. This one's funny. Be your own flamingo and a flock of pigeons. So yeah, they're just little word decor pieces, kind of like table top decor. You can stick it in a tear tray if this is like your... Um, style when it comes to decorating your tear trays. Dollar Tree has been getting that in a lot. Mermaids, flamingos, pineapples, llamas, um, and what's the other one? Unicorns. Like so much of that stuff. So Dollar Tree got some new organizing bins in. So it's the same shape that you always see but this time around they have wording on them. So this white one says trinkets and things and it is in gold writing and then the blue one says amazing things in gold writing as well and it has the writing on both the front and the back. There was a gray one, don't remember what it said, but there was a gray one if you're interested. I told you guys last week they got this new section in called fun finds and it has lots of things that I feel are geared toward teenagers and young adults. So anyways, right now they have a bunch of like hand sanitizers in that section. I purchased three of them. One is a repeat buy for me. So I really just like the, the holders that they come in. Um, so I got this one that is a unicorn, this one that is a pineapple, and then the one that is a repeat buy for me is this toucan. Um, I really, really like these things. And you can always replace the sanitizer with a different sanitizer, like if there's a Bath & Body Works one that you like more, or like a Victoria's Secret one that you like more, you can always replace the sanitizer in here with uh, one that you like better. In that same section, I found these narwhal page markers. There's four different narwhals. They are all different colors and they're super cute. One has glasses. I just like them a lot. They're page markers, so basically if you're reading a book and you need to mark a page to go back to, you go ahead and you put one of these on there. Yo, look what they got in. Chalkboard paint. They only had black. No other colors, but that's cool nonetheless. It is from the Plaid brand, so not the Greenbrier Dollar Tree brand. It says made in the USA. They need to get other chalk paints in. People would be using them galore, and I know that Plaid is a name brand, so my guess is it probably works just fine. I purchased these really pretty candles this week. I really like the packaging on them. Very chic and very like glam looking at the same time, especially because of the gold cap and the gold writing on the front of them. It is a soy blend scented candle. It smells really good to me. Now the thing is, as always with Dollar Tree candles, they tend to not have the greatest throw, but it does smell really good when you put your nose very close to it. So I've heard really good things about this shaving cream. So I decided to give it a shot. It is this personal care super smooth shave, shave cream. I got one in pomegranate and raspberry and the other one in lavender and jasmine. It says compared to EOS shave cream. So I just decided to give it a try. I've just seen good reviews of it on YouTube. It is made from the Delta Brands Ink brand, made in Turkey. This product is not tested on animals. Prime value for your family. And the final items that I purchased this week were two 
new pictures. So Dollar Tree always has like these pictures and picture frames, um, but they get new images in pretty weekly. And these ones I do like a lot. This one has a mason jar that says bless our nest. And then this one has love grows here with a really pretty like cotton wreath around it. I am going to change out the frame. Dollar Tree does carry white frames and I feel like these would look better in those white frames. But I want to share these with you guys because I feel like a lot of you guys would like these pictures, especially the one with the mason jar. So that's it for this week's Dollar Tree haul. As always, I like to end my hauls with a question. And last week, I wanted to know what is your favorite store to shop for? Home decor and hands down, Home Goods. Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx are all pretty close. Some Hobby Lobby, some Burlington. That's the only thing I don't like about like shopping at Home Goods and Marshalls and even Burlington. There's not like a big supply of one item, and it might be hit and miss at some different stores. So for this week's question, I want to know what is your favorite cereal? I have two different ones. So if I'm going to eat the cereal dry, my favorite is Kix. But if I'm going to have milk with it, it is Honey Nut Cheerios. Again, let me know your favorite cereal down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this week's Dollar Tree haul. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.